The Staffy is an impressive breed. They're an active dog that thrives off the attention of their human companions. In today's video, we'll be comparing this strong and powerful breed with the well-known Rotty. The Rottweiler is an impressive breed. They're active dogs that love human attention. Welcome back to the Fenrir Staffy Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Franny and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about staffies. Then, how to become high level canine leaders that can raise perfect staffies. So if you're a lifelong staffie lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new pup, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future staffy video. So let's dive right into today's video and look at how these two breeds have similarities and differences. Firstly, let's take a look at the breed's histories. The Staffordshire Bull Terrier shares a common ancestor with that of the Pit Bull Terrier and the Bull Terrier, the Bulldog. It was created in the 19th century to be a smaller and quicker fighting dog, but one who was gentle and kind towards people. It was most likely bred by crossing the Bulldog with an ancestor of the Manchester Terrier, which eventually developed into the Staffy we know and love today. The very first Staffordshire Bull Terrier Club was formed in England in 1835. The actual origin of the Rottweiler is a little bit murky, but it's incredibly interesting. Many people state that the breed was around when the Romans brought their dogs with them during the invasions of Europe. These dogs were said to have been crossed with native breeds like the Entel Butcher and the Great Swiss Mountain Dog. Rotties were most often found in southern Germany and Switzerland and were given their name because of the fact that so many of them were left in the town of Rottweil in Germany's southern region of the Black Forest. Their main role in this area was to herd and guard livestock. They were seen as extremely loyal and courageous dogs and this gradually spread across other parts of the country. They became popular with butchers who would use the impressively strong dogs to pull carts and they actually became known as the butcher's dogs. By the 19th century, Germany had outlawed cattle driving, which meant that the rotty population declined and it was not until 1914 when they began to be valued for their work as war dogs. In 1882, the first Rotty was shown in Germany and Rottweiler clubs were established in, the in 1907. By 2010, the Rottweiler, due to its incredible strength, determination, guarding nature and high prey drive, became Germany's official police dog. They were brought into the UK in 1936 and were bred by a handful of enthusiasts of the breed. Rottweilers today are very popular for their guarding abilities, but also for their loyal and kind natures, which has increased their popularity as family pets in many countries across the world. Staffies tend to stand between 14 and 16 inches at the shoulder, with males being taller compared to females. Male Staffies will weigh between 28 and 38 pounds, while females weigh from 24 to 34 pounds. Staffies have a short and smooth coat which lies close to their skin and can be a variety of colours including red, fawn, white, black, blue, brindle or any of those colours with white. Male Rottweilers tend to be between 24 and 27 inches at the shoulder, weighing between 95 and 130 pounds, while female Rotties tend to stand between 22 and 25 inches and weigh around 85 to 115 pounds. Rotties are large, well-proportioned and very muscular dogs. They have broad heads with slight wrinkling on their heads and when they're alert, their skin tightens. The Rottweiler is a black and tan coloured dog with short, straight hair. The average lifespan of a Rottweiler is between 8 and 10 years when they're properly cared for and fed an appropriate amount. It's essential that breeders only use temperament-tested dogs in their breeding programmes, which helps ensure their offspring inherit their kind natures. It's worth noting that like other breeds, the Rottweiler is known to suffer from a few hereditary health problems, with the conditions that seem to affect them the most being cancer, eye problems, ectropion, bone and muscle problems, bloat, hip and elbow dysplasia and skin issues. The Staffordshire Bull Terrier, like the vast majority of dogs, can be more prone to particular health conditions as well. These include hip and elbow dysplasia, bone conditions, cataracts, enzyme defects, skin allergies or mange. Staffies have an average lifespan of 12 to 14 years. Rotties are one of the most intelligent dog breeds and learn new things very quickly. This does mean that they can pick up bad habits easily and need a firm and consistent hand in training. They are strong-willed and need plenty of exercise and mental stimulation and it's best to begin training early as puppies. Rottweilers need to be well socialised from puppyhood and it cannot be stressed strongly enough that their training must start as early as possible too. Failing to socialise a puppy or train a young dog correctly is not fair on either the Rotty or their owners. 
They're extremely intelligent, but they also have a very dominant side to their characters, meaning they need to be taught their place in the pack and who is alpha dog in the household in order for them to be well-rounded dogs. Staffies over the years have been misunderstood and given a reputation which does not represent them accurately. They're an energetic dog with a people-loving personality and is known to long to take care of its family. Being a very attentive and alert dog, you can be sure that they'll let you know of any visitors you may have. Early socialisation is really important with Staffies in order for them to grow into well-rounded dogs who's less wary of dogs that they've not yet met. They're strong-willed and need plenty of exercise and mental stimulation and it's best to begin their training early as puppies. They're known for being loving and gentle dogs, perfect for a family. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved in the comment section down below, and don't forget, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe as we have three dedicated Staffy videos coming here every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Staffy Show.